CataractCoach.com. This is why Tripan Blue Dye should be used prior to viscoelastic. Let me show you. We have an anonymous resident who's operating. And this cataract very dense, very opaque. Look, there's no red reflex. So here's a nice, good fill of viscoelastic. This is a dispersive viscoelastic being used to coat the endothelium, protect the cornea, give uh, the anterior chamber some depth. That looks great. Now time for the phaco incision. So here comes the fixation ring and the keratome. And a temporal incision is going to be made here. And this looks like a pretty good position. And I like the architecture. looks pretty balanced. Tunnel length is good. Just about ready to enter the anterior chamber. That's pretty good. I'll take it. I like the incision. Now, here's the blue dye. Putting the tripen blue dye is tough because the, everything's already coated with the dispersive viscoelastic. So when the dye is injected in the eye, it doesn't want to go anywhere. It's trapped within the dispersive viscoelastic. Now, if you put in only a cohesive viscoelastic, you could put in a layer of tripen blue dye under it. But even if you try to rub here, the whole anterior lens cap is already coated in viscoelastic. The dye is not going to stick very well. This is not going to work. So what should you do? Let's just take the IA probe. Let's remove the viscoelastic from the eye. Make sure there's no viscoelastic stuck on the anterior lens capsule. And then we'll stain it properly. So this is why I recommend for the best staining with tripan blue dye, make sure you're putting the dye in and the, uh, before any viscoelastic. You want the dye to directly touch the anterior lens capsule. Oh, let go of that iris there for a second. You don't want to make the pupil any smaller and make your surgery more challenging. But that's good, nice removal of viscoelastic. Now the tripan blue dye can be instilled in the eye. And we can go ahead and fill the eye up with the blue dye. Now you'll have direct contact of the blue dye with the anterior lens capsule. So for sure it'll stain. You also notice the dye stained the corneal stroma. So even as we wash it out, you'll see the paracentesis and the main incision, the corneal stroma has been temporarily stained. This dye is temporary. Obviously, it'll wash out of the eye. Here we go. Now ready for the capsular rexus. And now it's much better on the staining. This will be a lot easier to do. We'll speed this video up a little bit. Again, you can also see the outline of the incision there, which looks pretty good. So now the resident will grab this and let's... Uh, Get a good rexus completed here. Remember, in a dense cataract like this, you heard me say it a hundred times, no baby rexus. Make a sufficiently large capsular rexus. You want a capsular rexus that's going to be at least five, if not five and a half millimeters. When you have a totally dense, opaque lens like this, hey, you can even make a six or six and a half millimeter, millimeter rexus. If it doesn't overlap the optic, we'll forgive you. Thanks for watching. Check out cataractcoach.com. Submit your video. We want to check it out. Also sign up for the free daily email. I know you love my YouTube videos, but there's a lot more material on cataractcoach.com.